Y bueno, estamos en vivo en Beat 100.9 Total Music a través de la frecuencia del 100.9 con el mismísimo Nicky Romero para quien pide un aplauso, por favor. Gracias. Yeah. Nicky. Gracias. It's a pleasure. Thank you, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Right now, uh, many people are listening this interview uh, through the radio. Oh, this is live? Yeah, this is oh, live. Oh my God, this is live. Ya, yeah, oh. le estaba comentando que esta entrevista va en vivo. First of all, uh, congratulations because uh, your label, uh, 10 years, 10 years of a uh, 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 successful label. label. Yeah, with Protocol, we exist for, for 10 years, actually a little bit more than 10 years now, but um, it's a long time and I'm super proud of how far we've gotten and how many people supported us. It's it's truly uh, unbelievable. It, it once started as a fundament for myself and my own releases and the people that I believed in and to see where it grew now, it's it's unbelievable and I'm super proud of the entire team and all the fans who made it happen. Okay, le decía yo le preguntaba acerca de los 10 años de Protocol uh, Recordings, que sucede discográfico y me dice que sí que, que, que tal vez tenga un poco más de 10 años y que esto comenzó justo pues para impulsar su música y la música de la gente en la que él creía y bueno es increíble ver cómo ha crecido el, el sello discográfico eh, en todos estos años eh, are you going to make something special a celebration i don't know a party an event eh, for these 10 years um, I mean, we made a special box, like a vinyl box for all yeah, the artists. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, for all the artists. Vinyl and yeah, and we put a story with a book um, where we wrote about how all those records came about, like how they started. And um, it that that was something special we have done for the 10 years. We've done the 10 years protocol with Amsterdam Dance Event with ADE. That was really successful. And um, yeah, we're going on for the 15 years, which is going to be in another five years. But uh, yeah, we're, we're proud. And, and, and like I said, it's it's truly special to have something that exists for such a long time. Okay, le preguntaba si va a haber una celebración. Me dice, bueno, sacamos una caja de edición especial, que por cierto es muy bonita, con muchos viniles de las grandes canciones en estos 10 años de Protocol y además ya tuvieron una celebración en ADE el año pasado justamente que fue muy exitosa y dice que ahora van por 15 años que son 5 años más pero que bueno lo ven lo ven posible um, let's talk about the, the present because you have a new single Turn of the Lights it's a, it's a new track it's called Turn of the Lights and um, this is the current release the one that I just put out um, it's, it's, it's a part of a story that I'm trying to tell for a little bit longer now um, the people who paid attention I put out a song called Tektronic and Myriad and then this one and they all are part of like a sound that I'm trying to develop that's in between like Tech House and in between EDM it's like cool club music without you know without losing the identity that I've built over the last 10 years okay. so my goal is just to put out songs like turn off the light um, that tell a true clip story and make the combination with melodic house and melodic progressive house to give the people an idea of, of what I'm gonna do this year because because uh, in the pandemic you made a lot of, of uh, a house music like clubbing music with uh, much group you know I mean I mean I the the people sometimes uh, when they hear and they say oh suddenly Nicky Romero is making a uh, tech house or you know more club music but if if you really look back to what I've done in 2009 2010 11 you know I I made records like play and stop like uh, the same man like uh, um, the Flash for Green Velvet remix. Uh, Carl Cox played some of my songs. Okay. So uh, people think that I am progressive house, and of course I, I, I spent a lot of time on making progressive house. But I've done things before, and I just like to change things up. But I will still make progressive house, but I just like to have the balance with club music and sometimes melodic music. Okay. Bueno, le preguntaba yo de Turn of the Lights y me decía que sí es un nuevo sencillo. Y estábamos platicando porque dice que el sencillo es básicamente como mezclar un poco del tech house, del house music, de la música club, con el progressive house que él hace para festivales y demás. Y le decía yo que sí, que, que efectivamente, este, de hecho en la pandemia hizo mucha música house con mucho group. Y me decía sí, es que antes, antes del progressive yo ya hacía eh, otro tipo de música. De hecho, Carl Cox tocaba mis canciones. Y bueno, es esta mezcla justamente. Um, Today you're gonna have a sunset set. Can you describe uh, for the people uh, exactly what it's a sunset set? 
Um, I think a sunset set is like when the sun is going down. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I know, I know. But uh, talking joking, about I'm joking, I'm joking, group I'm joking. music, yeah. I'm joking. I'm, I'm, I'm joking with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, so um, I think for a sunset set, it's important to to start uh, with a little bit more like down tempo. I'm not saying really like down tempo, but like a little bit uh, like easier than what I normally play. So I try to bring in the beginning a little bit more techie songs. I try to build that up to some progressive house. Okay. And to bring that up a little bit more even to like some older songs that people know, maybe even to lose because in Mexico, I will never forget when, I, when I played to lose for the first time, I saw thousands of people of, with like masks and so uh, that song was something special for me in Mexico so I will definitely play this one a new version tonight ok uh, ok yeah. bueno le preguntaba yo del sunset set y me dice sí hay que empezarlo con un poco de groove bajo y luego irlo subiendo ¿no? este y me platicaba que Toulouse va a ser una una cosa obligada aquí en el en, en EDC México porque es una canción muy especial él recuerda mucho la primera vez que la tocó aquí en México gente con máscaras y demás y de hecho va a tocar una versión especial hoy de Toulouse una de sus grandes eh, canciones. Eh, are we gonna hear some IDs tonight? For oh, you're gonna hear many IDs. Really? Many IDs. There is one that I not even finished. I made a, um, a, a song that I'm gonna play for the first time here today. It's not even, it doesn't even have the master chain on it. Really? So I just had to, on the plane, I made a special chain with a multiband compression and a limiter to make it sound good enough for on stage. Okay. So that one I'm gonna, it only has one drop and one break because it's not finished. Okay. That's gonna be in my set. I made a remix with BB Rexa. That's gonna be for the first time also on the stage. Uh, a remix for Afrojack, of course, that I put out a while ago. And uh, a new song with Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike that's called, I, I cannot say what it's called, sorry. <laughs> ok, ok, ok. <laughs> bueno, vamos a escuchar una nueva canción de él con Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike, que a punto estuvimos de tener el nombre. Un remix que hizo a Vivi Reksha, por ejemplo, y algunas otras cosas más. Un remix para Afrojack también, y algunas otras cosas más eh, respecto a IDs hoy en su set. Eh, Nikki, thank you so much for this interview. Of course, thank you. Eh, it's a pleasure having you here in Mexico City. Yes, thank Mexico you. Mexico loves you. I have a question for you because you speak uh, very good Spanish. When, uh, because I'm Dutch from Amsterdam, like when do you say muchas gracias and when do you say muchos gracias? What's the difference? Uh, can you explain me? Uh, there, there, there is no difference. You, you can, can say, say muchas yeah. gracias or muchos gracias. It's the same. It's the same. Ah, I learned something today. I'm very proud of this. I will always remember. <laughs> Thank you. Gracias. Uh, Nicky Romero in Bit 100.9. A pleasure, man. Thank you.